Breaking news, a shocker has just been released. You will understand what I mean. FFK, Femi Fanika Yode, is, uh, you know, has spoken on Buhari APC governors who are working for Atiku against Tinubu. This is FFK, and you know him very well. And he's saying to Tinubu, be careful. Many of those who are against you don't think they are your friends. They're actually working against you. And he said, even your Buhari, okay, they want to keep the presidency in the north. And so these people are working with Atiku, including governors of APC. I know like Nigeria is, they can move party camp any single day. It doesn't make any difference. They can move camp from A to B. Within a single minute, they are gone, okay? He says, so it is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Sincerely, really, truly speaking. He says, so anything can happen. Well, my wonderful people, it's, 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 it is what it is. And they were beginning to see some of those things come to pass, you know, and uh, we can see all these things happening now. Well, my wonderful people, let's get all the details. 2023, Femi Fani Kayode speaks on Buhari, APC governors working for Atiku against Tinubu. Hmm. Femi Fani Kayode, that's the man oh, when he joined APC, that's the man. The former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fanika Yode, has stated that there is no truth in some reports claiming President Muhammad Buhari may work against the All Progressive Congress APC and presidential candidate Ashiwaja made Bola Tinubu during the 2023 election. He added that the rumor claiming Buhari and some governors in the north, northern Nigeria, will support the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate. Atiku Abubakar, he said that is fallacy and a huge lie as it is. He urged all members of the public to disregard the conspiracy as it does not exist, stressing that not, neither Buhari nor APC governors will betray Tinubu. He wrote to those who believe that President Muhammad Buhari or Northern governors and leaders of APC are involved in a conspiracy to ensure that Atiku wins the next year 2023 election that will they will betray him it's a lie because they could not succeed in bringing in a northerner as the presidential flag bearer for apc it says such things will never be he said he never said any of such and will not say any of such because he believes that tinobu can become nigerian's president it will be recalled that Femi Fani Kayode condemned people's attack on him for supporting President Muhammad Buhari and the All Progressive Congress, as well as, well as Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, and the northern candidate he has picked for uh, running mate. He, however, stated that he would leave and be against APC if the party picks a uh, Muslim vice president and explains that for now the person Tinobu has picked is only a position holding capacity and that person is not the vice president that will be with Tinobu going forward that place was only picked to meet up with the deadline of APC as Nigerians began to say you betray your own words so Femi Afrani Kayodil if you know him very well he has a way with words yeah that man has a way with words He's very slimy, okay? He's not somebody you think that you can just hold and you expect that he will just know. Femi Fani Kayode will look for a way. He will tell you this, that, 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 that. And so, I mean, there's a rumor going on that um, some APC governors uh, from the north, as well as Buhari and some persons, are trying to work against, you know, Tinubu because, you know, Tinubu, the way he, he shunned them when they tried to form a lie. Okay, Tinubu ensure that they could not install or deceitfully bring in the Senate president as a presidential candidate. They say, well, they want to retain power, and the only person to be able to achieve that is, you know, Atiku. Say, so there are some people in APC who are trying to work for Atiku. Okay, because when Atiku, for instance, if they work for him, he becomes president, they can always join the APC again and come back and join. You know, you know the way they do in Nigeria, you know, back and forth. There is no truth. You know, there's no no loyalty. They are neither here nor there. Everybody, anywhere, belay face. Okay, there is no, there's nothing any party stands for. No party particularly has, 
you know, one, one thing that guides them that says this is what we do, this is our watchword, this is our integrity, values, and all that, this is what we stand for. Largely, we don't have party of such that are really true to the cost. I want to see to it that, you know, the truth is being dispensed. So these are some of the things that are going on and why Nigerians, we must not take it with levity. We must be very serious and we must get ready to vote for our candidates. In result of whatever plot or plan that is going on, we must vote for the candidates that we believe him or her. Okay, could potentially bring a whole lot of difference and ensure that our nation become a better place. I mean, Fanny Kayode said that um, the conspiracy plan or plot that is ongoing, that Buhari will betray Tinubu and that the North is working against it. He's waiting patient. He said, no, that is not true. Okay, he said it's not a true statement and uh, there is no such thing as truth in that regard. So, my wonderful people, this is Femi Fanny Kayode trying to clear the air. Because, because it's the one being seen as a traitor in the midst of the pack. It's the one being seen as such. You know, so this is what has gone on. This is what has happened. And uh, many Nigerians are beginning to wonder, you know, that this is what, you know, that this is what ought to be and why every one of us must work at it and ensure that, you know, at the end of the day, we get the right persons in leadership that we are not, uh, you know, we are not... We're not, we're not picking the wrong persons or those who will work against us, okay? Because those who have been there, most of them have actually worked against us. Where are the good roads? Where are the schools? ASU has been on strike, okay, since April, since April, the, since April the 14th, ASU has been on strike. Students at home, yeah, they are planning elections. Yeah, they are doing everything they want to do. ASU has been on strike. The nation is in jeopardy as we speak. Things have gone from bad to worse. Asu is on strike. Okay? So this is part of the things that are going on and why we cannot, uh, again, allow such people to be determinant factors of what happened in our nation and why we must change from the present predicament and ensure that we come out, you know, that we come, we, come, we come to truth. We come in terms of truth, you see. So these are some of the things that are happening. Fair Fanny Kayode has debunked it that he did not... Uh, he did not, uh, uh, you know, he did not say anything of such. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. That's bye for now.